Now, Star Wars fans who get down with comic book lore, sorry for the delay, but I'm finally here to break down the latest issue of the Vader run, which also happens to cross over with the kick-ass War of the Bounty Hunters miniseries that kicked off in full this week. Make sure you sub to the channel for the breakdown on that one, but for now, let's see what Vader is up to and what new lore we have to explore. The issue opens with the now defeated and subservient Vader returning to Coruscant for a little tune-up after he realized that Palpatine's power through Exegol is way more badass than he ever imagined. What I loved about these early panels is that it set up how brutal Palpatine just treated his buddy, but it also shows you how much of an angry badass Vader is. I mean dude stays awake to have his body chopped apart and repaired just so he could keep feeling the pain and suffering that he knows makes him stronger. It was also fun to listen to Palp keep shit-talking him to his advisors who were worried that his latest round of torture may lead Vader to try and kill him but he laughs it off like a true master planning boss. Anyway, while he's being repaired to feel pain, he recenters his focus on his son and how his son may be strong, but he's still a puss because he's never done anything great on his own. He highlights the fact that it was Han Solo that actually saved Luke's ass at the Death Star 1 battle and allowed him to blow it up, and not Luke by himself. So he flashes back to a time period right after that event to show us what he was up to to try and further weaken his son's um, light side ambitions, if you will. It turns out that Vader hunted Han and Chewie after A New Hope on Corellia. And if it weren't for the fact that the planet had a shipyard just for the ships that were the same model as the Falcon, Vader probably would have wiped them out. It was a nice little touch to Vader and Han's contentious relationship, which we saw play out further in Empire when he again uses him to try to get to Luke by torturing him and freezing his ass. The issue comes to an end back in the present timeline and Vader is all patched up and ready for a new mission. As a side note, we also got to see how Ochia Bastoon got his big black glass looking eyes that we saw him with in Tross which we now know is a result of surgery after eating some Sith Force energy on Exegol in the last issue. The odd couple of Vader and Ochi head out in search of the now lost Solo, which is the point where this issue links up with the War of the Bounty Hunters thread, and based on the ending, both Vader and Ochi are now also in the mix when it comes to the factions hunting for Solo's slab. Oh, and just in case you missed it, but they link up with a buff AF hut named Boku. Who knew that some huts could be more than just oversized slugs? Not me. Make sure to tune in to the next episode of the Star Wars Time Show, in which myself and my co-host Nick will fully break down this issue and give our thoughts on it as a whole. And keep those notifications on because I have another new Star Wars comic breakdown coming and it's loaded with some awesome solo movie connections and more badass Boba Fett moments. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking it and subbing to our YouTube channel. We'd also love for you to join in with our weekly Star Wars podcast. So use the links in this video's description or head to StarWarsTime.net to subscribe to the platform of your choice. There's always time for Star Wars Time. And remember, if you listen to the Star Wars Time show, the Force will be with you. Always.